The overhead reach distances of adult females are normally distributed with a mean of 197.5 cm and a standard deviation of 8.9 cm. For part A, it says find the probability that an individual distance is greater than 210.00 cm. Okay, now notice that an individual value from a normally distributed population has been chosen. Therefore, use the population distribution to determine the probability. So what we're going to do is we're going to first draw a picture. Okay, so we're going to draw the picture of the bell curve. We want to label the mean. In this case, the mean is given in the question to be 197.5 centimeters. Okay, and then we know that the standard deviation it's given is 8.9 centimeters. Okay, now they're asking us in part A is to find, okay, the probability of an individual's distance is greater than 210 centimeters. So it's going to be to the right of this. So that means we're going to write down here the value of x, which represents 210 centimeters. Okay, and then what we're interested in is finding the area or the probability that's to the right. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to be able to then determine what is the z-score. So we know that the value of x is given, we know the value of the mean is here, and we know what the standard deviation is. So we're going to use our z-score formula where it's equal to x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So if we take the value of x, which is 210.00, and minus 197.5, which is the mean, and divide it by the standard deviation of 8.9, let's determine what that z-score is. So we take 210, subtract 197.5, and then we're going to divide that by 8.9 and that gives us 1.40449. Now remember z-scores need to be rounded to two decimal places so this should be rounded to 1.40 so therefore there is our z-score. Okay now let's go ahead and draw the z-axis so we understand now what's going on here with this normal distribution. So now we know that the mean is going to be zero and now this x value has now been converted to a z-score of, of 1.40. So in this case here, in part 3, we want to find the probability of when that z-score is going to be greater than or equal to 1.40. And then we're going to use StatCrunch to determine that. So let's go ahead and open up StatCrunch. Okay. So... Opening up StatCrunch, and then we have our probability what we're looking for. So we're going to go to Stat, select Calculators, and then we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says Normal Distribution. Okay, and so remember here now we have the mean of 0 and the standard deviation of 1 now. And so now we want to make sure that this represents greater than or equal to, and then we're going to put in a z-score of 1.40, and then that's going to give us that probability. So that probability rounded to four decimal places is going to be 0 0.0808. So 0 0.0808, and that's rounded to four decimal places. So let's put that in there. So 0 0.0808, and let's check our result, and that is our answer. Now, again, now this here represents the probability of 0 0.0808. Okay. Now, in part B, it says find the probability that the mean for 25 randomly selected distances is greater than 196.20 centimeters. So let's take a look at that here. So in this case, the desired probability is for the mean of a sample of 25 distances. Although 25 is less than 30, the original population has a normal distribution because it's stated in the problem. It says it's normally distributed. Therefore, we're going to use the central limit theorem. 
And again, the central limit theorem applies when a population has a normal distribution or the sample size n is greater than 30. So according to the central limit theorem, the distribution of the sample means is approximately normal with the mean given to the following, and the standard deviation is given by the following formula. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to draw our picture, okay, with our bell curve. So here, we draw our bell curve, okay, and we know from the problem, we know that the mean is 197.5 centimeters. Now, in this question, it's saying that find the probability that the mean for 25 randomly selected distances is greater than 196.20. Well, that means that that 196.20 is to the left over here. So we can say that that x value is equal to 196.2. And it says they want us to find the probability where it's greater than that value. So what we're looking for is the area that's to the right. Okay, so now we got to write down the given information for this problem. Okay, so there's a few things that we need to consider here. We know that the, uh, the selected distances is 25. So we know that n is equal to 25. Okay, we know the value of x in this problem is 196.2. We know the mean of the sample means is going to equal the same mean from the problem, which is 197.5. Okay, and then we got to determine the standard deviation of the sample means. And that's equal to the formula, the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So we can do that quickly here by the following. We can take the standard deviation of 8.9. And then that would be divided by the square root of n, which is 25. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this into our formula. So for step number three, uh, for two, we want to find the z-score, which is equal to the value of x minus the mean of the sample means divided by the formula of the standard deviation, which again we know is the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So in the numerator, we have x, which is 196.2. And then we're going to subtract the mean of 197.5. And then we're going to divide that by 8.9 divided by the square root of 25 in a denominator. So we can do this all in one calculation as long as we include parentheses in our calculator. So for the numerator, we have parenthesis 196.2 and then we're going to subtract 197.5 and then we're going to divide that by again parentheses we have 8.9 and then we're dividing that by the square root of 25 and then close that in parentheses and that gives us that z-score rounded to two decimal places which is negative 0.73 so that gives us negative 0.73. So now let's go ahead and draw our z scale underneath there. So now that tells us the following. And I'm just going to move this down just a little bit here. Okay, so now we know that for the z scale, the mean is 0. And then this value here, which is the z score, for x is now going to represent negative 0.73. And so what we want to do is now find the probability of when the z-score is going to be greater than or equal to negative 0.73. So now let's go ahead and then plug that into StatCrunch. Okay, so here again we have a mean of 0, standard deviation of 1. We already have the greater than symbol. But now we're going to put in the z-score of negative 0.73. And now that gives us a probability of 0.7673 rounded to four decimal places. So we have 0.7673. Let's go ahead and put that in there. So 0.7673. And therefore, there is our result. Okay, now the question states, choose the correct answer below. 
Okay, if you look at the first one, it says the normal distribution can be used because the original population has a normal distribution. Well, that's correct. The other ones are incorrect because it says the normal distribution can be used because the probability is less than 0 0.5. That's not the case. Normal distribution can be used because the finite population correction factor is small. That's not the case. The normal distribution can be used because the mean is large. No, we would say A, and therefore that is our answer.